Now the fourth option that we have, it is a pivot table. Right? So pivot table is again an advanced Excel concept. Okay. Pivot table by the way it is actually known as cross tabulation report. Okay. So pivot table has lot of uses. We'll uh, get into the uh, details of this. So where all we should use. Most of the places you you can use is you can use is in the marketing data, financial data. When you have like uh, let let's say in HR data also you can use pivot table. Let's say you want to get the salary of the employees group by department, group by head, of, group by the offices, group by city. Lot of things it has. Right. So, but as of now, I'll start with first to get how we use this pivot table to compute the frequency, and then we'll get into the advanced thing. Right. So. For this pivot table, you have to go to insert and you have to see this. When you go insert, the first left side is pivot table. Right? So you click on pivot table. So when you click on pivot table, it wants to know, okay, select the table or range. Okay, so let's say I have selected this table or range. Okay. If you don't, if you don't want to do this work, what you can do is you can select this entire thing and insert pivot table automatically it will take okay and where you want to place the pivot table let's say we want to do in a new worksheet and i press okay okay so once you do this this is very very easy to understand okay do not think that pivot table is complex okay what you have to understand is pivot table area so this is a pivot table area so to build a report choose fields so what are the fields that you have? These are the fields. This was a very simple one. I had fields as name and marks. Okay, right? And then you have here the, there are various items, report filter, column label, low, row label, summation values. Right? As of now, I am not interested in any of these names. So this is not my interest area. My interest area is only marks. So even if I see this pivot table, I don't have to actually worry about these names. Okay. I'm only worried about the marks. Okay. But now what is in the marks what I want? Okay. I want the marks like this. Less than equal to 70, greater than 70, 280, greater than 80, and so on. Right? So we will be interested in marks as the row. So what I will do is I will left click on this marks and drag the mouse and drop the mouse over here in the marks in the row label okay see the moment you do here the row label the marks have come okay but what is this these are doing okay these are just over here okay to show okay 62 63 66 are there but that is still not my work has not ended okay i want some calculation to be done on this marks so what you do is you drop, drag this marks again and drop in this summation values. Okay. So I am dropping now. I am dropping here. Okay. Right. So by default, if you see, Excel gives you some of the marks. Okay. So sixty-two. Some of the sixty-two is sixty-two. Right? But our interest is not to count, uh, not to sum it. Our interest is to count it. So how do you get the count? For that, you have to click on this. And you have to say value field settings. Please, please understand this okay. value field settings. And you say, no, I don't want some. I want count. Okay. The moment you say count, see this, it is automatically coming count of marks okay. and we'll say, okay, see this, it has given one, 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 one. Yeah, it was there one, 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 because 62 was coming one, 63 was coming once, but I change the data. Let's say I make 63 also as 62. What will happen? Okay, so it has not changed. Okay, because pivot table is not dynamic. If you have to make it, you have to make it dynamic. You just say refresh. Okay, so see, once the moment I have done refresh, it has become 62, 63 is gone, and the count of marks has become two. Right. So try to understand pivot table. If you change anything in the data you have to refresh your pivot table by clicking on this refresh right so how do you go to the refresh the moment you have select see here when i select nothing has come here 
the moment i select a value in the pivot table this pivot table tools have come tools have options and design in option you have this refresh right and we'll see we'll see all this thing okay and we'll see what happens if this options if i click on this field list see this right side thing has gone click on this field list right side thing has come if you click on these buttons as of now we don't have any button field headers see this field headers what do you see the row label has gone okay right so as of now let it all this thing remain okay but field list if you sometimes many of the students earlier had asked me sir in pivot table i am not getting the pivot okay it is because the field list is not there click on field list you will get right so see i have got the count of marks but still it is not the frequency distribution okay still i have to get the frequency distribution from here so what to be done okay it is because the pivot is created to make it um, what we say is uh, one one wise okay but there are options here if you right click here okay you say group okay so see this grouping we want to do a grouping as of now it is like grouping automatically but i don't want automatic i want grouping like this 70 okay ending at 100 and how our bin was created our bin was created like 70 less than 70 70 to 80 80 to 90 like that that means the increment was at by 10 and ending was at 100 we'll see this and see what happens see this and i press okay what has happened it has given 70 70 to 79 80 to 89 90 to 100 there's a problem it is not giving you less than equal to right so if you see group okay starting at 70 it is not giving you that one right so let's say if you say 71 okay and press okay so is this the data we got 4231 see 4231 so here it is saying less than 71 71 to 80 81 to 90 91 to 100 right so this was an introduction to pivot table i wanted to show that here you can get a frequency distribution is this clear getting the frequency distribution using pivot table anybody any doubt okay so what are the things here you create you select the data so let's see we'll do again insert pivot table press ok the pivot table will come we are interested in marks we'll drag the marks here we'll drag the marks here and see this this pivot table here it has become very smart since we had last time we had selected count of marks it has given the count of marks right and already automatically it has done the grouping okay so you can actually ungroup we, we want to do on group and all and we want to do again so select so we want to make it value fill setting sum by default this is what you get okay now how to change all of this one thing is you can go here and do the changes the other option is many students can uh, do like this okay group filled not group filled uh, field settings yeah here you see that there is a field settings okay you want count okay no no this is field settings yeah here sorry actually there i selected no what was the field settings nothing right no not this one here we select okay so see this is sum is coming i will click on field settings i want count right so i will get the count of marks so this is by default you get but many times you don't want to get the default so if, if you want to get the custom name you say frequency so you give the custom name as frequency see it has come frequency right and then you do the group by group by default you are starting at 71 ending at 100 increasing by 10 and you get it right so as i have earlier said that best way to learn this type of thing is like do again and again many problems you solve okay in fact the assignment today that you will get you have to solve many assignments to achieve this pivot table okay. okay and these are the field lists you have okay design you can change okay as of now let's say grand total i don't want okay so you can go to grand total and you can say off off for both rows and columns we'll see when column will come as of now i'll off for both rows and column right 
then there is subtotal you can say show subtotal do not show subtotal okay blank blank rows insert blank as of now nothing is there remove blank nothing is there report layout show in compact form okay show in outline form see it is outline form it has come show in tabular form you will see there are many of this thing banded rows what are banded rows see it is like shaded this is shaded the next one is not shaded this is shaded this next one is not shaded it is becomes large data it becomes easy to have this banded columns you can see this is not shaded this is shaded right so lot of features are there okay column headers these are the column headers row header as of now nothing is there right so you can actually play a lot with the pivot right 